Hi, my name is Keijo Mäkelä and I'm head of Artopasti unit in Turku University Hospital, Turku, Finland. I'm also chairman of the steering committee of the Nordic Arthroplastic Register Association, NARA. I will present you our study of failure rate of cemented and uncemented total hip replacement based on the combined database of the four nations. The study was performed by Nordic Arthroplasty Register Association, Hip Research Group. Here you can see the members of our study group. Nordic Arthroplasty Register Association was established in 2007 to improve quality of hip and knee arthroplasty by register research collaboration. National databases of Sweden, Norway, Denmark and Finland were combined. The total population of the Nordic countries is 25.5 million. The total amount of hip implants in the NARA database currently is more than half a million. The aim of our study was to assess failure rate of cemented, uncemented, hybrid and reverse hybrid total hip replacements in patients at 55 years or older. This is a multinational registered study of combined data of four nations. A cohort of more than 300,000 total hip replacements performed during 1995 to 2011 was included. Here you can see a flowchart of our study. If a patient had hip replacement of both hips in the database, only the first one was included due to potential bias of bilaterality. Hip resurfacing arthroplasties were excluded from the study. Kaplan-Meier analysis and Cox multiple regression with adjustment for age, sex and diagnosis were used to assess implant survival with revision for any reason as endpoint. Survival data were presented for three age groups 55 to 64 years, 65 to 74 years and 75 years and over. And let's take a look at our results. The proportion of uncemented total hip replacement increased rapidly towards the end of the study period. In patients aged 55 to 64 years, the implant survival of cemented total hip replacement was similar to that of uncemented and reverse hybrid total hip replacement. In patients aged 65 to 74, and in those aged 75 years or more, the implant survival of cemented total hip replacement was higher than that of uncemented hybrid and reverse hybrid total hip replacement. During the first six postoperative months, the revision risk for cemented total hip replacement was decreased compared to each of the other three types of fixation in all age groups studied. In conclusion, the implant survival of cemented total hip replacement was higher than that of uncemented total hip replacement in patients aged 65 years and over. The increased use of uncemented total hip replacement in this age group is not supported by this data. Increasing move to uncemented total hip replacement in Nordic countries has been influenced by expert single center reports with good outcomes. However, excellent implant survivorship has been reported for all kind of fixation techniques. In our opinion, intense marketing of more expensive uncemented total hip replacement by industry has strongly influenced the current trend. Willingness of orthopedic surgeons to adopt faster uncemented techniques with the ongoing intense marketing has been high. The limitations of our study are that our data includes only those parameters which are common to all national registers. For example, we don't have articulation surface data or data of comorbidity of the patients.